Ooh, let's shoot some FP100C. But more specifically, not really just me. Um, how about friends across the country even? <laughs> this could be crazy. Let's get into it. I'm just another Chris. Oh man, you know it, you love it. It's pack film. This stuff has been gone for a little while, but not forgotten. This stuff is very sought after and very expensive. But I actually started filming this video and shooting this one pack of film in February of 2023. Yes, I went on a birthday excursion to Florida, uh, to Disney World. Never been, decided to meet up with a friend there, which you've seen her on the channel before. Heather, she hasn't shot pack film. Why not give her a chance to shoot it for the very first time? That evolves into a few other people along the journey. I end up going to California and shooting my friend Gabby. Then I head over to Ohio to shoot with Dave Knopp from the Knopp Top YouTube channel. And then we travel down to Jackson, Georgia and shot some there. Then I head back home to the state of Washington and shoot in Seattle, even though I don't live there, with Molly from the Eclectic Chrome YouTube channel. The experience of Pack film, it's like none other. And I really want other people to experience it, even if it is gonna be the first and only time they get to, because this stuff is nearing extinction. So, so let's just get into it. Let's head to Disney World and shoot some photos. Now, when I went down there, there was two photos still left in the camera. So I shot those off and then loaded this one. But let's uh, let's see what happened. Because something happened with that thing. I, I, I screwed up. So when you're ready, press the red button. Okay, wait for these people to move. I did it! Now, you have to pull it? Yes. Rip it, like rip it just, really just hard? Just pull. Let's pull. Oh shit. It's going to be a little sure? tight, yep. Are you sure? Yep. I need you to pull it really hard! Oh, there it goes. Now. Holy moly. Woo! <laughs> now, so now you're ready. So take, this is the photo. Evenly out. And took your first photo. Oh, it's a great birthday! Woo! Peel it. Mm-hmm. And we get to see how you did. And it's black. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, no. It was probably just too dark. Here I am. Oh, uh, you didn't fail. fail. Let's see. There <laughs> might be if you look closely. I wonder if we might still see something in there. So I screwed up that photo, by the way, people of the internet. I forgot <laughs> to connect the battery. So my bad, not hers. So I shot. We shot one though. This is the last photo of the pack. There we go. Yeet. Last one. And I have a pack. <laughs> in my bag we might have to save that though for tomorrow yeah 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 because we, Magic we, we're, we're having too much good time to walk around yes so yeah this thing has a very unique battery that uh, powers the camera light meter and the shutter so I uh, disconnect it when I travel or when I'm not using it. That way it doesn't accidentally drain the battery and uh, potentially screw up a photo even though I screwed one up by not connecting it so therefore I should have just left it connected <laughs> so I burned off the last two photos there and loaded in FP100C. So this is where the video really starts. <laughs> and I let Heather reshoot it the following day, which happened to be on my birthday. There you go. Yikes. And then not this one, that one. This one, yep. okay. And pull it out. Look at that! <laughs> See how you did. Oh! Oh, that looks good. You kind of did that. Yeah, that's oh, fine. No, what is that? It's kind of a spot. Well, the film's expired. I know, but it looks good. I think it looks great. I think it looks good. It's great. Hot dog. Ready. Hopefully I focused it right. I think so. It was a little tricky. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, does it look good? Does oh, it look good? <laughs> that looks awesome. I want to see it. I want to see it. Oh my gosh, that looks so good! Yep. I love that! That's perfect! I started filming this in Disney World, you know. Welcome to Disneyland. <laughs> so while I was in Disney World, I was chatting up Heather about a future trip that I might be doing. I might be heading down to California to visit a friend of mine, Gabby, she works at the park. And I thought it'd be really fun to go down there and just shoot some photos, hang out, have a good time. And well, Heather was like, that sounds really fun. Mind if I take along? Which Gabby is a photographer herself. She shoots like instant photography, some 35 millimeter, and she's never shot pack film before. So 
she is gonna get to try it for the very first time. And then we wait about a minute, maybe a minute and a half, and then we peel it. Okay. So here you go, you're up. How was it? Uh, it's the first time I shot with it, and I I was a little bit nervous. A little nervous. Know if it was in focus or not. So there's a handle here you can hold. Okay. Yeah. And shoot. And then. Yeah. And then pull that one. Yay! Now you have put done pack film. Yeah. All right. Woo! Oh yeah. And you just gonna grab a little corner and then just start peeling. How'd you do? It came out great. Let me zoom in. Let me zoom in. Oh, look at that. That looks so good. I said I'm so happy. I've really dreamed about this. You've dreamed about shooting back film? Yeah, peel apart film. It's amazing. It's so much fun. It's like they look, the pictures look amazing. They smell, they smell amazing. Right? Yeah, it's so much fun. Now here, here's a pro tip I had to learn the hard way. So there's still leftover developer on here, and this is yep. a film negative. This will transfer to the transfer paper. So if you put that back on, like at a weird angle, yeah, it will like transfer over. And my one of me in front of the blockbuster sign, I did that. And so part of the corner has a, almost a double exposure, like double development. Would you like take the negative and like blow it, blow, blow it up? up? Yeah, yeah, you probably could. I want to start experimenting with that. Yeah, I think that's the cool. last you can do that with would these. Be cool. mm -hmm. I see what you're saying. Have you ever shot pack film? No. You're about to. I'm so excited. Don't dude. screw up. Very expensive and can't be replaced. So, <laughs> here's what you do. I have this camera, but I always forget how to get that thing to come out. Oh yeah, so you lift this up, like so, and then you push this up, and it pops out until you hear a click, and you're good. When I store it, I like to un undo the battery. So pop this door open because the battery is very special. So then just reconnect it. Okay. Wow, look at that crazy connection. I know, look at that battery. And I've actually forgot to do that one time and wasted a pack of film. Or never had a shot. Oh, bummer, okay. Yeah. And then the, now that's good to go. So to focus it, it's this thing. You move this back and forth and you'll see a ghost little image overlaid in the viewfinder. And you okay. just try to line that up. And that's how you're in focus. I see it. I see it. That, I don't know what that's about. That's just like a ge generic guide, like close up, group shot, infinity. I see. Oh, I see, and that actually adjusts it. Okay. Yeah. Cool, let's go for it. Let's do it. Commit it now. Look at that. Hit it. Hang on. <sighs> All right. Now you're about to have some extra fun. This tells you what shot it is. So this is shot number seven. You're just gonna pull that out. This isn't the photo. It will activate the photo. So there it is. So now this is the photo. Sheesh. Right? So now you're just gonna grab that and pull evenly all the way out. And one fast motion. No stress, no stress. You got it. Look at that. I did it, dude. I was a kid the last time I saw that action happen. My dad had one. He was like, click, here we go. And he waited <laughs> way too long. All there right. We go. Here we go, three, two, one. Got him. This is number eight. And then this is what we gotta do, right? Yeah. I think this have a better grip handle. Woo! Sheesh, as the young kids say. Awesome. And since we're here, we can peel the other one that you did. We, we never peeled it. Look at that, you peel this one. Let's see how well you did. Woo! You get it into the sun. Look at that. that reflection. Yeah, it was a little dark just because it was in the shadow. I was worried about that, but that came out pretty good, man. Amazing. Look at yes. that. But in the sun, it'll dry faster because <laughs> it so is wet. Get from that. Can you yes, that save that. Yep, save that. You could actually wash that and turn it into a negative. That's awesome. Yeah, with bleach and stuff. Look at that, dude. It's a little soft. Could have been sharper. Here's my. The Hawkins one that they took. That's pretty good. I'll take it. I like it. Oh no. <gasps> the other one got stuck. Oh, dang it. No, the, the other one, the Surfer Boy, got stuck. Uh oh. 
no. Dang it, dude. I thought it was dry enough. Yeah. Dang it, dude. It looks like it's underwater. Yeah, I thought it was dry enough. Uh, it was not. So this one kind of got ruined. Man, the Surfer Boy Pizza Van photo, so depressing. I thought I let it dry long enough. It was in the sun for at least five, 10 minutes. Uh, and it was pretty warm that day. Clearly it wasn't long enough. And so this one got ruined. I do have the negative I saved and I've never done it, but I know there's a way you can like bleach the back, get it removed and turn this into a scannable negative. So maybe I'll be able to salvage this photo by doing that. I don't know. I will give it a shot though. Uh, I have a bunch of these negatives saved over the last couple of years. I don't even know if it'll work after this long. Who knows? But I will make a video about it. So if you want to see that, consider subscribing and stay tuned. Ciao. Woo. Look at that. It's pretty good. Neat. One more. We're recording now. Okay. <laughs> We're pretending that it was recording the whole time. It's been a year and a month later since I, I've shot the, or loaded the film at Disney somewhere i don't know where it was but actually i'm not going to be filming this or shooting it we have <laughs> molly she's going to be shooting this that was take, take two so i'm more comfortable now have you ever shot pack film no it's only in my dreams well your dreams are coming only in true. my wildest dreams your, your dreams are coming true there's one shot left and we're gonna we're here we're here in seattle by the way and we're gonna have her take a picture of the iconic iconic sign so and how do i do this um just shoot it i don't know what you're talking about okay so <laughs> Oh my god, this is so cool! Yeah, it's gonna I'm be so awesome. excited. And your everything else is preset. You don't have to worry about anything. What you're gonna do is you're gonna pull is that, that down. Cock, the shutter? That's the caulking of it. And then you press the button to take the picture. And that's it for the first step one. Oh my god. So. Oh my god, this is too much. What if I mess it up? What if I don't get the focus? You won't. Oh, I felt a raindrop. Alright, wait, so I, I cocked the shutter and then I just hit this. Yep. I'm so. at infinity. You're at infinity, yeah. So then there you go. Let's take your shot. Oh my god, this is so much pressure. So much pressure. You got it. What if I what if I frame it wrong? <laughs> oh my god! Okay, I got it. I got it. You got it. I'm just waiting two seconds. Ready? One, two. Oh, I heard it. Oh shoot. What? Don't say oh shoot after I press the shutter button. I know. Okay. Oh my I don't god. remember. I don't remember. Oh my I'm god! Not, I did this once before. Hang on, we gotta verify. I messed up once before on this. We're trying to rush because it's starting to rain. Oh look, birds. <laughs> anyway, pop this door open. I'm hoping I connected the battery. I'm pretty sure I did. I think I heard the double click. It was a solid thunk. Aha! I didn't screw it up. I uh, wasted a shot by not hooking no, up the battery. No, just me. <laughs> Here's where the real fun begins. So now, over here, see that tab? What you're gonna do is you're gonna pull that tab out. Mm. This isn't the photo. Okay. This advances the photo. How, like, just rough. Shoop. Let me get it pulling really hard! There you go. So now, if you want to keep it, you can. A little memento. Souvenirs. The la this is the yeah. last photo, remember. This is going in my scrapbook. <laughs> <laughs> And now this is the photo. Oh my God. So you're gonna take that evenly, just. Oh. Just. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. I don't know if that was even. That should've been just fine. And there we go, you've shot your first ever pack film photo. First and last. Well, <laughs> fun fact, we're going on another trip that I actually have some more. So this won't be your last. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> This is just your first. So now it's kind of chilly out, but we look at the times for the development. So it's roughly 59-ish, 50 degrees. So we wait 270 seconds. 59, yeah, that's yeah, that's what that's what Chris just did. Yeah. This feels yep. like 59. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> 59 degrees. I don't know. I usually just wait like five minutes and you're fine. Now we wait. Now we wait. <laughs> I need to get an umbrella. These people. Man. She just said she needs to get an umbrella. There's not an umbrella in sight. Look at this. These people. Nothing. This isn't the UK. <laughs> All right, the time has come. 
So you're, oh about, you're about to peel this. The way to peel it, you just grab a corner and then just yeek. That's it. Oh my god. What, what, are you, what are you hoping for? A photo? I'm just hoping that it's not blank. Oh. I'm hoping that if you can see something. If it's, if it's blank, that's just due to the age of the film. That's not your fault. So. I guess if it's blank, this will never see the light of day, so it'll be Oh, light. it'll be shown. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! Look at that! Look at that! <gasps> it's so beautiful! Now, don't touch it. Oh, oops. Oh, you're fine. Just, just touch the sides. Okay. I've learned the hard way. Oh, oh you told me about yeah. that. Yeah. 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 Oh my god! Look at that! Look at that! It came out! It came out. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Yeah, that came out amazing. Wow. I mean, it's obviously because I shot it. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. And I, I knew what I was doing the whole time. All The whole uh, time. Just hamming up for the camera. Yeah. How much is it per pack of the... Oh, if you can find it, it's $100 a pack. Yeah. If that, maybe more now. And how many photos do you get in a pack? Ten. You get ten photos. That's ten dollars. Wait, no. Where ten. did you get this one? I got this from, this might have been one of the viewers sent, no, 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 I paid for this. I found it for 50 bucks though. All right. Five bucks. That's <laughs> still five bucks a shot. I've never done it, but we can bleach the negative and then we can get a uh, scan of it. Yeah. And it, it would be a higher resolution than the actual print itself. This that's is a so higher cool. resolution than the actual photo. Oh my God, that's so yeah. cool. So guess what you get to do? I didn't get the flower lady though. You can shake it. Yeah. <laughs> so as I was editing this video, I was like, man, I'm missing some photos. I mean, I gave a couple away um, to the people that shot them. There's like two photos I can't account for. But then I realized I did shoot one extra one in Florida while I was at Kennedy Space Center. Yeah, I shot this one, totally forgot. It was shot number three. While I was there, which, gosh, I want to go back. I ended up having to leave kind of early. I had other things to do, so I definitely want to go back and shoot some more photos there, but man, it was so cool. But then it got me thinking, well, I'm still missing one. Well, I totally spaced it. I actually shot another one in Seattle. Uh, I've actually shot in Seattle twice now. I can't find any footage. Then I realized I uploaded it as an Instagram reel. The sun was going down when I was taking this picture, so. That's why I'm leery. I actually put a flash in the flash bulb or whatever for the pack camera, but it didn't fire. That's why I'm thinking it's not gonna come out very good. You know what? Holy shit. <laughs> uh, actually got something. <laughs> I am so surprised. Yes! It's me holding up the world record. Totally legit, remember. At this training thing, the framing is not bad. Uh, uh, friend Caleb uh, took this. I'm su I'm surprised. I mean, it could be brighter, but this is this. These results are fantastic. I'm very happy with that. Yeah. Ooh, pack film. End of an era. We're not quite ended just yet. I still got some more packs of film. Some really old. Some decently old. <laughs> <laughs> some stuff that pretty much is a guarantee that it will still work, meaning FD100C, but I have some other pack film from Polaroid, like 669, and some other things that I'll be shooting in the coming months, hopefully, but I'll be making some videos about it, but more specifically with a particular camera. And that is the Polaroid 600SE, AKA the Goose, courtesy of a Spitfire Club member, Brad. Shout out to you. Thank you so much for sending this over. I've already shot some film with this. I've went down to San Francisco recently. I did a road trip there and shot with it. And this video will be coming soon and more. I wish you, it's really cool, it's really cool. So if you wanna check this out, consider subscribing. But be sure to check the links in the description below to everyone's Instagram that was in today's video. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one now. Get out there, make some art.